Fairview High School, the home of the Cobras. Let's go take a look now. This is the office if you have questions. This is the sick room if you're feeling ill. This is the principal's office and the vice principal's office. This is the gymnasium. This is the Youth Education Support Workers Room. This is the library where you can check out books and computers. That was a lot of places, but it's only just a square. So if you get lost, just keep on walking. Here are some tips and tricks to feel ready for junior high. In grade six, you can keep your binders and school supplies in your desk because you stay in the cl same class all day. In junior high, you'll have to switch classes many times, so you'll have to keep your stuff in a locker. At the beginning of the school year, you are given a lock and a locker. You can come to school a few days early to pick up your lock and bring it home to practice it. Be sure not to give your lock combination to anyone. Make sure to have one binder for every one or two subjects. And if you get a handout, put it in your binder at the end of class so it doesn't get lost in your locker. Some people carry binders to class. For some people use a backpack, which is also a good idea. Your locker is a great place to keep your schedule. If you have a device, you can take a picture and have it as your screensaver. Hey, what class do we have next? Math. Sweet. Try not to miss too many days of school so you can stay on top of your lessons and assignments. Every week you have two homework blocks, but use them wisely. Want to hear a few teacher tips for doing well at FHS? Hi kids. High school is all about doing your best. We're here to help and we expect in order to help you, you have to do your best too. Okay, so my teacher tip for the grade 7 would be to make sure that you always bring your books for two classes so that you don't have to stop your locker and five to three. So uh, it keeps you on time and it makes your teachers happy. Hi, my tip would be Always be consistent. Maintain a steady pace from September onto June. If you do that, I think you'll have a lot more success and you won't get rushed at the end and you'll be a whole lot more happy and content with your progress. So be consistent, stay steady throughout the year and I think you'll do well. There's many ways to get involved at FHS. Try out for a sports team. Basketball. Volleyball. Badminton. Golf. Jordan <laughs> Field! Get involved in a club or other activity. Drama. The student wellness action team. Come out to school dances. 
senior high students are really nice. They'll help you if you have any questions. Why won't this phone work? Here, you have to dial you. Thanks. If you want to leave during the day, you need permission from your parents, and you also need to stop by the office to sign your name. There are a lot of people you could go to if you need help, you're having a bad day, or you have a problem. Like the teachers. The principal. There's a lot of ways to stay on your teacher's good side. Get to know your teachers. How's it going, Brooklyn? Good, how's it going? Hand your homework in on time. Listen and pay attention in class. Raise your hand if you have a question. Okay. Bring a pencil to class. Follow your teacher's cell phone. Some teachers have a bit that you can put your cell phone. have your cell phone or iPad out on your desk, if it's allowed for the lesson. Some teachers ask you to put the, your phone in, the, in your locker. It's a bad idea to secretly text in class. Ashley, what are you looking at? Nothing. your phone. Late again. Or it's late to class. Or use bad language or mean words. High school is about making new friends, getting involved, doing well, and trying new things. We're excited to have you at FHS. You can always ask us questions in the halls. See you soon.